guys, and welcome along to another episode of Telecast PH, the Telework PH Business Process Outsourcing Podcast, a podcast dedicated to going beyond the cultural barriers and changing the way we look at outsourcing to the Philippines. Now here you'll find advice from business owners and thought leaders, some motivational and mindset content, And I'll show you the benefits of outsourcing and how outsourcing some of the non-core aspects of your business can open up a whole new world. And in return, you'll be helping our mission to make an impact on poverty in the Philippines. I'm BizDev Jeff, your host. Thanks for joining the Telecast PH Reboot. And a sincere thank you to all who have been following my content on LinkedIn and Instagram. Now, I know right now we are in the midst of this horrible worldwide COVID-19 outbreak. So please, everyone, be smart, be safe, and and take care of yourselves. Right, so today we're going to be talking about the truth about Filipinos and English. But first, I want to take a minute to talk about this reboot that I'm so excited about. Now, the reason for the reboot was, first, I needed some new equipment uh, to do recording. And I got it, courtesy of Telework PH. Um, I also got a new logo for the podcast and a new logo for my personal brand, BizDev Jeff, Strategic Outsourcing Specialist. Some other graphics and even a new outro and an intro for the YouTube videos. But most importantly, I I wanted to take a step back and review uh, some of the content that I was putting out there and see how, how I could take that to the next level. And I think you'll be surprised with what I've actually come up with. Now, for those of you who are just joining and listening for the first time to find out uh, what this podcast is all about, uh, first of all, welcome and thank you. Uh, but a real quick history uh, behind the podcast. So well, I, start, I started this podcast uh, last year to basically get the word out about Telework PH and what we do. We're an outsourcing solution company based in Baliwag, Bulacan, Philippines. Uh, We specialize in customer support, tech support, uh, customer success and service, data entry, and various other uh, virtual assistant and back office tasks. Uh, We like like to call Telework PH the rule BPO because basically we, we set our offices outside of the Metro Manila area. And there's a reason for this. Our goal is to bring more jobs to where the people are instead of crowding all the people into the big city where the jobs are. Also, we want to make an impact on poverty in the Philippines. And we're starting with the rural areas of Bulacan, which is just one of the uh, many provinces of the Philippines. Now, by doing so, instead of excellent agents who are college grads, and speak amazing English, having to travel four hours one way every day to work, they can just travel 10 minutes and work closer to their families. Also, those who go to Manila or Makati and stay in boarding houses crammed in with one room with nine other people just so they can send money back home to help their families, they can also benefit from this. On the flip side, our clients get high-quality, happy agents. And we've already made an impact on poverty, and that's something we'll be talking about in future shows. Now, as I said in the intro, I don't only discuss outsourcing. I could. I mean, I could talk about outsourcing all day long. But I also have some amazing guests lined up over the next couple of months. And we're going to talk about things like marketing, um, business advice uh, from their end, sharing their journeys, their insights, Um, We'll also be talking about one of my favorite places to spend time, LinkedIn. I've been spending a lot more time on LinkedIn, making content, making contacts, having some great conversations, and absorbing and learning a lot from what these business leaders have to say. And of course, you're going to find some great positive mindset content here on Telecast PH. Uh, But I think mine might just go a little bit deeper than the ordinary Facebook or LinkedIn post or even Instagram. I'll relate what I've done to go from homelessness to where I am today. So the reboot is happening now with episodes coming out every Tuesday and Thursday moving forward. So 
I would really appreciate it if you would, uh, you would go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can find more content on the YouTube channel as well as the past and future podcasts. Just search BizDev Jeff on YouTube. All right, moving on. The founder and CEO of Telework PH, uh, Marja Viso, had asked me to do another podcast episode addressing some of the misconceptions about outsourcing to the Philippines. And I thought, too, this was a great idea, um, some of which I had already addressed in the first episode of Telecast PH, but they really, really need to be revisited often. Now, if you were to do a quick Google about the misconceptions of outsourcing online, uh, you'll come up with a, with a ton of information, a lot of which uh, I, I never personally have heard when speaking to prospective clients. I'm not saying that, that, that those misconceptions don't exist in the minds of some people. I'm just saying that I've never really heard them outrightly uh, said to me. Uh, so I decided to take it a step further and get real feedback from real people and my network rather than just an online search. So I took to LinkedIn and Instagram to find out what it is about outsourcing to the Philippines that puts people off. I was hoping for some great answers, and I got them. Now, the main ones that I got were cultural barriers and language. Now, these are valid concerns when it comes to outsourcing to the Philippines. Certainly, there are going to be some cultural differences. I'm not really sure I would call them barriers per se, more of a comfort zone thing. But it all depends on you. Getting out of the comfort zone when it comes to what you may perceive as a cultural barrier could quite possibly help your business scale up quick or save your business or even get that startup off the ground quicker. I, I was just talking to a new prospective client I met on LinkedIn and uh, it's interesting, he has an SAAS startup company. Now, he doesn't seem to have the same fears as some, but he did have some questions about Filipinos and outsourcing to the Philippines in general. And there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, there's nothing wrong at all with having a little bit of fear. That's what I'm here for. My goal is to put to bed a lot of these misconceptions and help business owners become more informed. And it's not just cost savings. It's tapping on the experts, and that's going to be a topic for a later podcast, getting out of your comfort zone with outsourcing. But I am curious, what, what's your comfort zone when it comes to cultural perceptions of outsourcing to the Philippines? Let me know so I can address it, either in comments on, on the YouTube channel, or you can go ahead and DM me in LinkedIn at BizDevJeff. Now, the biggest feedback, besides the cultural differences, was... People don't realize how well English is spoken here. And I mean, it's not their fault. Uh, when you think of a Southeast Asian country and then English, the, the two, they, they don't seem to want to line up. In fact, it was just about six years ago at the age of 42 when I learned that they actually speak French as the main language on the Ivory Coast. I'd have never known that. And when I found that out, you could have knocked me over with a feather. So I know and understand where people are coming from and why would you ever think that English would be spoken at all in a Southeast Asian country, um, especially on the level that it is spoken. To be honest, before I came to the Philippines 10 years ago, I mean, I knew they spoke English here, but I didn't realize actually how widespread English is and how much it's actually used. In fact, Something like 32% of Filipinos speak English as a first language. And that's something else that blew me away. So, short answer, yes. Filipinos speak English, and they speak English well. There are actually more English-speaking people in the Philippines than in the UK. Weird, huh? Uh, well, the population of the Philippines is, is higher <laughs> than the UK. Now, if you were to go to my, my LinkedIn profile and you would see a post of, of a video that I just made a few days ago um, for LinkedIn where I went around town and actually spoke with some of the service personnel at the grocery store and at the convenience store where I, where I stopped to get my newspaper and I showed how they all speak English. I encourage you to go ahead and check that out. 
Let me give you a little bit of, uh, of history about English in the Philippines. Now, here in the Philippines, there are two main official languages, Filipino or Tagalog, and then English. Now, if you were to go down south, they speak another dialect called Cebuano, and then English. Now, actually, there are over 700 languages and dialects spoken in the Philippines, but English bridges the gap, believe it or not, between the two main dialects. Tagalog in the north and Cebuano in the middle part in the south. A lot of Tagalog speakers don't speak Cebuano and vice versa. So when they come together, they speak English. This way, they understand each other. And the same goes for what we call OFWs here or um, Overseas Filipino Workers. Now, say a worker leaves the Philippines for a job in like Germany or Spain. 99% of the time, they use English to communicate. So being that English is an official language here, they teach English in school from kindergarten all the way up to high school. My kids have to take English in school, which is funny because my son, who's going into the fourth grade, brought home a C in English, a C, with a native English speaking father. Now he probably speaks better English than every kid in the class and he brings me home a C, unbelievable. <laughs> but he's a great kid. Now you may say, hey, BizDev, Jeff, come on. Are you going to tell me every single Filipino speaks perfect English? Nah, I'm not going to say that. There's actually a wide range. There are some who don't speak a word of English other than what they copy from songs and movies. Then there are those who speak what's called Taglish, which is a mixture of Tagalog and English. Then there are those, mostly college graduates, or what I call native English-speaking Filipinos, who speak, converse, and even think in English. And they do it well. I'm actually amazed that they can not only speak and comprehend English, but they can get on the phone with a customer, potentially one of your customers, and handle their issues, give support, and carry on meaningful conversations. What's, what's really fun is, is to hear their accent change as they go from speaking English with an American like myself uh, to speaking Tagalog with their friends. The, the accent changes uh, instantly. But those that do speak and comprehend English on that level are the ones who get the higher paying positions. It's just a fact of life here in the Philippines. Now, being that the, the BPO industry is a huge part of the economy and the jobs for English-speaking agents pay well, these Filipinos go all out to perfect their English skills and they deserve to be compensated as such. Now, the salary for the English-speaking agent, although it's higher here in the Philippines, it's still substantially less than what you'd pay in Western countries. And the only reason is the cost of living is cheaper here. That's it in a nutshell. Now, on Thursday, we'll be talking with our Director of Human Resources and Administration, Dreamy Locanario, um, she's going to go ahead and shed a little more light on what our agents must go through uh, before they're considered for employment on English-speaking accounts. And we'll be talking about many other topics relating to building the Human Resources Department for Telework PH from scratch. You won't want to miss that one for sure. Right, so that will wrap it up for this installment of Telecast PH. I've been BizDev Jeff. If you like this podcast, please subscribe, and if you're on the YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content. And I'm always looking for great feedback, so comments are encouraged. And of course, if you want to find out more about outsourcing to the Philippines with Telework PH, all you got to do is hop on over to www.teleworkph.com, or let's connect on LinkedIn. Just search... BizDev Jeff Thompson or the hashtag BizDev Jeff. Go ahead and shoot me a DM and let me know honestly what you think about outsourcing, good or bad, right between the eyes, so I know what to address in future podcasts. And as the late great Dr. Wayne Dyer said, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Take care, everyone. Be safe. This is BizDev Jeff signing off.